Tege u bishop, u bukritele u politics. Bishop Tomoti has been described as an anti apartheid activist that understood the pan-Africanism agenda, a man that advocated for the emancipation of the oppressed indigenous owners of the land, a man that fought strongly against political restrictions in this country. He was disciplined, personified, an honest man. Of course, he was blessed with a great sense of humor. Uh, uh, every time you come to Bishop, you hear a new, uh, new thing from him. Anyway, now you, I used to call him a PACSG that we never had. This man has archives, this man has documents, this man is, was the best in, when it comes to administration. Every document you want, you'll get it here at Toboti's house. So it's a big loss indeed. His family says Toboti was a father that spent his life in the struggle to liberate the oppressed Africans. My father was a humble man. He, he, he traveled the world uh, trying to liberate uh, South Africa. Um, he, he spent years in Zimbabwe and Tanzania fighting for the liberation of, of South Africa as it is now. Um, he was a person who loved people and um, he, he made sure that everything that he did, he didn't do it for himself but for other people. Eastern K provincial government has described him as a true leader and urged young people to emulate his values and principles. Our message is quite very clear that let's take from where they have left. They are a generation of a special type, a generation that has been able to nature this country to be where it is now. Our duty is to ensure that we preserve the legacy that they have left behind and ensure that we represent our people in the best uh, possible means and ways, deal with any possible tendencies that can take the country outside of the tragedy that it has been designed to deal with. Speaker after speaker raised concern about the political prisoners that are still languishing in jail. They want the president of the country to pardon all political leaders. I'm Grulego Nyembezi, at Mkopo village outside Tendane.